Right, now this footage comes from Prince Charles and Camilla visit Manchester a month on from terror attack. Right, okay, terror attack. Now we all, we all know that from examining the event that no attack actually took place. That it was a drill that had been taken place a month earlier. That there's no blast damage, therefore, uh, to the Manchester Arena. That a man could not have blown himself up on four occasions in four different areas in the arena. That when we listen to the media, one story is that he blew himself up in the main arena next to a fire exit then he blew himself up in a tunnel adjoin adjoining the arena to the railway station then he blew himself up outside a ticket office the arena ticket office that was on the melamine floor of the station okay um, and of course the last one was in the foyer now the the media has concentrated more upon the foyer and the sheep have also therefore concentrated upon the foyer now if you were to ask the sheep about the other three that the footage sorry that the media has put out they don't want to know they knock your pigging block off they'll knock your block off they want what they want and it is what they want is what they want to believe from the media they're sponges basically they absorb anything that the media put out now you see these sycophants here Okay, are brought in. Now, whether or not crisis actors or just sycophants, that's a good point. Okay, let's see what we've got. Lily, I'm just an adulterer. Hello, I'm a dirty bitch. This is the town hall. Yes, I, I, I like to battle you, you dirty adulterer, dirty bitch. Oh, 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 I met Baldicute and his dirty slapper Camilla. <laughs> yes, yes, I've been talking to my plants today. I, oh, by the way, oh, they call me Tampax Man. Oh, 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 oh. I tell you something. Okay, let's go to the end of this. Okay. Hmm? Go on, you slag. Cup of tea. I just need to hold a cup of tea. Okay, look at that ponce behind him. Just... Okay. Now then. Okay, there's a ponce, you know, it looks like the piggy nut out of Thunderbirds. Now then, I'll ask one question here, okay? And basically it's this. What is wrong in all this footage? It's not immediately clear because it's presented to us, it's thrown into our faces. But I'll say this. Very, very quickly, because I, I can't be asked with this, this, well, I could go and <laughs> uh, express myself about this piece of turd, okay, and his wife. But I'll say this, okay. In all footage of real events, the cameras and the officials go to that real event. Why not here? Why to the town hall? Why well away from the arena itself? 
Why not into the arena? Because let's face it, let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Would it not be to the benefit and the profit of the media, okay, if it took this fella here down with the officials, these nonces here, okay, to the arena and say, here it is, Charles. Here's the, the the wall here is gone and the ceiling's gone and you can see the floors come up and the cameras are there and they're clicking away and the film cameras are there recording and everything's there because that's evidence, you see. But they don't do that. They don't do that. It's a very, very subtle thing they do. They keep away from what should be the truth completely. And this always happens, and it's, it's getting increasingly bad. You see, when you call upon these persons for evidence, all they can give you is rhetoric. And sadly, the education of persons today is that bad. Oh, my goodness. Is that they believe the rhetoric is evidence. It's not evidence. This is exactly why it is that they go away from that building because the evidence in that building declares that nothing happened. So you have to get away from the building. I've been picking down there, there's nothing. There's no blast damage, bugger all. Cleaning the frigging floors. Preparing for September, as you do. For the opening, you just clean the pigging floors, you get the, get the um, buffers out and you spray it and you buff. And because it's a big, big, big pigging area, they're buffing the, the actual uh, foyer and then you've got to go into the arena itself and that's quite large, so that takes time to clean that up. You know, to, to make it nice and sparkly, but there's no skips on site and no, no tradesmen on site and there's no doors blown off and there's no windows blown out in the foyer and there's none on the melamines side on the side of the station no they keep keep us away and they even put pig in table all along the stairs to try and keep us out but they couldn't pig and keep me out i just went straight through but you see, the thing about it is, again, if you have evidence, if the media has evidence, if the government has evidence that this is a real event, they would gladly, they'd run to that evidence and show it and say, here it is, Charles. Look at it. Look at the blast damage in here. And this is where the bodies lay. And this is where all, all the plebs ran out of the door. Okay, but we haven't got the footage of them panicking, but we've got people coming out of the door at some stage. Okay. And all the ambulances, by the way, turning up at five to five to two in the morning. <coughs> Oops, said Daisy, it should have been quarter to eleven. Because it went off around about twenty-five to eleven. Okay. Oh dear, the inconsistencies. Hey, and a man trying to blow it. Well, a man blew himself to bits four times. Oh dear. And afterwards, what did he do? Probably went home for a cup of tea, put his feet up. And what's the news? Hey, I was there, love. Hey, come in here, love. I was there. I was the guy who blew myself up four times. Hey, uh. oh, I thought I could smell something uh, smouldering. Oh, <laughs> it's only me, eh? Don't worry about it. I'll have a bath shortly. Eh? I don't know. The things that the media get up to in government. They try and put us into fear. Okay, Charlie Town Packed Boy. Go talk to you rubber plants. You headbangers, you freeloaders. Bye-bye.